When should you get dental implants? Let's talk about it. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. Before I start this video, I just would like to thank the first hundred subscribers that we have on the channel here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I just want to say thank you. We've been doing it since August, and now we are now in December, and we have something like 70 plus videos that we've done for you. And we are really just trying to create a library for mankind to care and share, to share and care. So I would say, would you please, please, if you have a favorite video, if you have a favorite one, please send it to a friend or two. Just share and let them, let them see and, and see, particularly if it's something that they need to know. So I say all the time that food, sleep, exercise, detoxification and mindfulness behavior is super important for life. All of those things are the things that you can monitor for your health. Your health is your wealth. I say that all the time. So my 100 people, thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing and staying and listening and sharing. So that's what I want to say about that. Let's talk about implants, okay? Implants is my bag. It's what I love, love, love to do. Why? Because when there's nothing in the space or you have a tooth that is so decayed beyond repair, well then you, you can't fix it. You have to remove it because it might be causing some pain or something like that. So now you might need an implant. So what's an implant anyway? For the most part, they're made of titanium or different alloys. Um, the metal is definitely um, friendly to the body and it is placed um, with a lot of water so that there is not a lot of uh, heating up of the bone because it does go into bone. And then basically, let me not get so gross, basically it acts like the root of the tooth. If the tooth was lost due to trauma, something punched it out or you had a car accident or decay, you just had a cavity for a long time and the tooth can't be saved, the roots are supposed to be taken all the way out. And the implants basically return your roots back, you let that stay in the bone underneath the gums, and then after that, you put a tooth on it over some time, three to six months later, depending on how the implant went in. And that's it, that, that's it, now you got your tooth back. And that is the best way that we have come up with to return teeth to human beings. That's the best way. Other ways to do it is something called a partial, it comes in and out. And there's also my least favorite, but it does work. It's called a bridge. So you take one good tooth and then there's a space and then there's another good tooth and you build a bridge between the teeth and you, you now have teeth looking teeth in that area. I do all of those things, but my favorite is an implant. So why would you get an implant? Man, there are so many reasons. For some people, it's aesthetic. They, they don't necessarily want to be missing a tooth in the front of their face, but there are some people that they, they don't mind missing a tooth in the front of their face. We, we know some people. We know some people like that, and it's okay. That's their choice. But if I was missing my eyebrow and I was missing a front tooth, I bet you, I bet you'd see the missing front tooth before you see the missing eyebrow. That's what I believe. I believe it. So dental implants are definitely something that's going to help bring your smile back to life and back to function. In dentistry, form is function. So if you are missing teeth in the back, for example, well, you need your back teeth even though no one can see it. No one can see it at all because your tongue, if it's on a lower, your tongue goes over it. No one's going to see that missing tooth. There's going to be a rare moment that you say, ha, 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 and all of a sudden someone notices that you have a missing tooth, but they may have a missing tooth also. They'll just say, that's where yours is. Anyway, if you're missing a tooth in the back, even though no one sees it, the reason why you'd replace it is because you need to chew your food. Do you know that the mouth is the first zone of digestion for your digestive system? And since all creatures, 
humans, for example, should be eating green grass, leafy vegetable foods, vegetables are actually harder to chew than meat is. That's why you gotta grind it so, so much. If you've ever eaten just a large salad, you could see how long it takes to eat the salad because it, you just gotta chew it. So that's the first part of your digestion. So if you're missing teeth in the back in particular, you do want it together, you do want to get it together so that you have a proper bite in your back teeth area. So and okay, so that is function. You gotta have your function. And then form. If you're missing a tooth right here, we get to put a tooth back right there. Now you're looking great. You're looking, you're looking whole like nobody knew that or remembered that you had a tooth missing at all. And that's the aesthetics. Uh, my, my, my mentor, Dr. James Tyus, he said that people go to the dentist for only two reasons. Two reasons. Only two. And I was like, okay, doc, okay. I'm at the edge of my seat, like, what are they? Please tell me, what are they? Anyway, Dr. James Tyus said, vanity and pain. That's it. Vanity or pain. I see it all day long. People come in on what I call fire sometimes from a tooth that has been rotten for a while that didn't hurt them and then all of a sudden it kept them up for the last three nights and I call that being on fire. And then there's people that <laughs> they need no dental work at all except to get their teeth maintenanced and cleaned. And really at my practice that is what I look to do for all of my patients. We take care of all the disease, we get you set up, we get you aesthetically pleased with your smile and your look and your function. And then we just keep it clean. And that's all we got to do is just keep it clean. That's all you got to do is keep it clean. So implants, my job is to get the implant in you safely using all of the scientific knowledge that is based on successful implant placement. And that's it. I'm done. And then your job is to heal. This is one more reason why I came up with my food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, or nerve conduction, and mindfulness behavior. This is how I came up with it because once I put the implant in there for you, it is now your turn to do your job. And your only job is to do those things at the highest level for you so that you can fight any subsequent possible infection, and you can promote your body to heal around the implant to make the implant even stronger than when I put it in initially so that when I actually put a tooth on the implant, it lasts forever. Keith Sweat. That's, that is all that we want to do right there, okay? Make it last forever or whatever forever is gonna be, whatever your forever is. But certainly, we don't wanna revisit that area. Now, in order for you to keep your new tooth, your implant, your tooth, you still gotta floss and brush before you go to sleep, and then floss and brush before you leave the house. That's an absolute. That, that will keep the implant healthy, that'll keep your mouth healthy, that'll keep your breath smelling fresh and clean, and then of course make your regularly scheduled dental implant cleaning appointments. That's it, that's it, that's all you gotta do. And you know what, I know that for some people that's a lot. I, I can understand that. So if you find or you feel that that is something that's a lot to do, go slow but just put it on your things to do and know that if you have a dental problem, dental pain or something like that, flossing, brushing is your first line of defense. And I say it's your first line of physical, mechanical defense because when you floss, you get the food and the bacteria that's hanging on the food out of the area. And then you brush and you just freshen the whole gums area up. But really, 
You should have a good exercise program. You should have a good diet. You should be getting your proper rest. And sometimes people have two jobs, three jobs, and it's just hard to do. You know what? Power naps are good also. But the one thing that you should definitely do for your life, this is just a suggestion that we should all do. We should always do our best. And that's all anyone can ask of anyone. Do your best and that's it. Ask God for some help. Oh, that's doing even better. That's about what I wanted to say about my dental implants today. So if you need some dental implants, you may know that you already need some because you're missing teeth in the back or you're missing some teeth in the front. Certainly you got to keep good care of yourself. Treat yourself like you are responsible for taking care of yourself. That is very Jordan Peterson. And yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you, my 100. Please send your favorite video to your loved ones. And if you agree with one or some of the things that I've said right here, please leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.